Hey, what's going on? I want to show you how to fix an error you might run into in Flask where you're trying to access Flask from a different domain and you get a cross origin resource sharing error. So let me show you what this looks like. I have a super simple Flask app here. We just have two routes, a home page and then an API endpoint here. And let me show you this in the browser. So this is the home page and then the API endpoint looks like this and it will give us a list of users theoretically. So let's take this URL and the domain here is localhost port 5000. And let's go to a different domain, an app running on another domain. So I have localhost 3000. I have this little API tester app. And let's try to hit that Flask endpoint right here. So this is the error right here. So the request has been blocked by a cores policy, which is cross origin resource sharing. Now cross origin means this is an origin, a domain name, localhost 3000. And this is an origin, localhost 5000. Technically they're different domains or different origins. And so we're trying to make a request cross origin. So there's a cross origin policy, which says access control allow origin. And so Flask is not letting other domains interact with it. So we can fix that by installing Flask cores. So let's stop our app temporarily and we'll do pip install Flask cores. And then let me restart my app again. And then up at the top here, let's import it. So from Flask cores, import cores. And there's a few ways we can use this in our app. The simplest way is to wrap the whole app in cores. So we'll do that like this. And this will make every URL or every route or endpoint in our Flask app allow cross origin resource sharing. So any domain on the internet can access our Flask apps routes. This is a little broad, but let me just show you how this works. So let's save that. And let's go back to the front end. Again, we'll copy this route, refresh here and try it again. And we get a response. So this is hello world that that is our homepage for the Flask app. And we're accessing it from a different domain and we're getting a successful response. Let's try the API endpoint we have. And there you go. We're getting a successful response from that as well. So again, just doing it this way, let's any domain access any route on our whole Flask app. So again, that's a little broad. Let's narrow it down and be a little more specific about what we're allowing in our app. So we'll rewrite this line here and we'll just create a variable for cores. And now we can pass in a few options. So the first one will be the app itself. And the second one will be resources where we can specify what we want to allow access to. So let's type R. And then in quotes, we're going to put a route. So for now, let's just allow access to the API route. So we'll do slash API slash, and we could do user, and this would allow access just to this one route. But let's say we want to allow access to all of our API routes if we have more in the future. So we can do that just by saying API slash asterisk for all, anything after the slash. So we could have an API route for user, we can have an API route for a specific user ID, or maybe an API route for posts or whatever else. This will allow all of those. So this is the resource. And now let's say what domains we're going to allow access to it. So we have to type origins. And then here we can give it a list of origins or domains that are allowed to access it. So for now, let's just type all. So any domain across the internet can access all of our API routes. Let's go ahead and test this out. So we have this here. Let me refresh and test it out. All right, cool. We are getting access to that Flask route. Now let's try the home page. And you see we are not allowed to access that across different origins because we've only allowed API routes. So again, we could say, all routes, let's test this out. So this works for the API route and it should work for the homepage route as well. There we go. 
But in this case, let's just allow API routes. And now instead of letting any domain across the internet access our API routes, let's only allow a specific domain. So we can do that right here by typing the name of the domain we want to allow. So we know it's localhost 3000 because that is our little API tester app here. And this is something I do a lot where I've built out my backend API in a Flask app, but my front end is running on a different domain. So for example, I might have a React app running on myapp.com, but my Flask app API is running on api.myapp.com, for example. So this will just allow this one domain to access it. So let's go ahead and test this out again. There we go, that is working, but again, the home page we have disallowed. But this one works, so that's great. And if we were to change this to something else like randomsite.com, and we go back here and try it again, you see that our localhost 3000 domain is not allowed because the only domain that we've allowed is this one right here. So back to this one here, that's how you allow a specific domain access to specific Flask routes. All right, so there's one more way we can use Flask cores in our app, and that is using a special decorator that it provides. So let's get rid of this right here. And instead of importing cores, let's import cross origin. And this is a decorator that we can use on specific routes. So let's use it on our homepage route right here. So we'll do cross origin, and let's test this out. This should just allow cross origin requests on the home page. And since we didn't add the decorator down here, it should not work for this one. So let's test it out. So let's try the API endpoint. That does not work. And then we'll try the home page endpoint. And that works, cross origin. And if we move it down to the API one, let's just test that out. So it shouldn't work for the home page, but it should work for the API endpoint. Perfect, there we go. Finally, if you do want to get a little more specific in this decorator here, you can also specify origins that are allowed. So we'll type origins, and then you just pass in a list. So in this case, we wanna pass in our front end app again, which is localhost 3000. So this will only allow localhost 3000 or whatever domain you pass in here to access this specific route because you're using a decorator on it. Let's test it out. Oops, API slash user. Perfect, that works. And the home page route does not work. All right, so that's three ways you can use Flask cores to solve cross origin resource sharing errors in Flask. If you want to see more videos on Python and Flask development, as well as some API development using MongoDB and Postgres, then make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.